What's up you guys, Aftershare Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Legends of Tomorrow. This is Season 5, Episode 13? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope this episode doesn't have any zombies in it. Let's get into it. Let's see what's streaming on Fate Plus. Fate Plus. What is this, friends? Hey there, Hive. Did you remember the grey mush like I asked? Got the green mush, the purple mush, the sticky mush, the slimy mush. And I forgot the gray mush. You forgot the gray mush? I forgot the gray mush. <laughs> oh, Farad, you're so dumb. <laughs> They're the ultimate buds, and they're fated to have some fun. Mama needs her ultimate buds. <laughs> the oven's taking forever to cook. Absolutely, your friend's so cold. My boss uh, is gonna be here in 30 minutes. Or maybe she'll be early. <laughs> Yay! Neat. I don't know this net you speak of. My name is Robin Loxley of Starling City. Why? I got an audition to play Robin Hood in Arrow, a show about a vigilante. Mmm, sounds dumb. What's that thing doing? I don't know. I've never done that before. I say don't touch it. Right. But on the other hand, why not? Ah. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh! This shows off the rails. There's no ghost in Ultimate Buds. And yet, for one episode, there is. Nate? Sorry? But how you found me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Such a serious tone. What was that? What? Nate? Yeah. Nate Haywood, actor and your neighbor. Do you remember us? So he's meant to be Joey. I mean, I always wanted there to be an us. Could I be more of a kiss misser? And that was Chandler. <laughs> a lot going on here. This is just bizarre. All right, where's the wave rider? <laughs> where's Sarah and Mick and John and the others? Ava Sharp? Mona Wu? Did they She's just like, say Mona my Wu? name? Sure, all good question. I guess it makes Great. sense. Hey, that she on, would your sister might have hit her head again. Her. <laughs> she was from last season. So actually, it makes sense. Hey, right? Is that really you? I thought I'd never see you again. Did you eat like an entire bear rod brownie? What? Your boss, why don't you just stay in this closet for a sec a... while we entertain what? your boss? Welcome. I'm bear rod, Zari's brother. You must be the hot boss. What a charming brother the fates have granted, Zari. Where is she? Not in the closet, that's for sure. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you think about like people that should go with um... Okay, Charlie. boss coming over for dinner. I think I know what's going on here. We're stuck in a TV sitcom. Sorry. Do you have amnesia again? You guys don't hear that? The laughing? Sis, what do you think is happening? I think you guys fought the fates. Fates! fates. 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 And you lost. And for some reason, you've been loomed here. What's behind this door? I don't know. We never opened it. Never even occurred to us. Mm -mm. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> That would be Rachel's room. Has that been here the whole time? Coming, dummies. But stick together like glue. Where are the rest of them? Ah, oh, okay, this is a supernatural oh. episode. I see. We've been expecting you. We're changing channels, are we? Welcome to High Castle Abbey. Okay, so this is Downton Abbey. I've never watched Downton Abbey, but I got the reference. Is this like similar? I don't know. I do beg your pardon, Lord Tarazi, but is it customary where you come from for the valet to sit? Oh. <clears throat> Boy, a thousand apologies, bro. <laughs> uh, Mr. Constantine, why don't you show the Tarazi's valet to the servants' hall? I'm so glad we could find the time to get to know one another. Yes, before we marry and you inherit our family's estate. Uh, so this would be her I'm probably sorry, you say close Mary? to her original accent, right? I have to go to the bath. Did lavatory. <laughs> Don't leave me. <sighs> Do you enjoy hunting, Lord Barad? I like to play among the animals, not slaughter them. Well, that is an unconventional opinion. How may I assist you, my lady? All right, listen to me. You are not some 
buttoned up butler. You are a, a cynical, chain smoking master of the occult. You have an apprentice named Gary, and you are capable of great it's magic. A magic? Did she just say Gary now? Maybe that crazy guy isn't so crazy after all. Gary, I think people are trapped on the TV and they know us. You sound crazy. You were onto something. The world's all wrong and the cracks are starting to show. Just watch. In order for this spell to work properly, I must first know where it is that you intend to go. Can you send us to someone? When he's fine, our captain. What is your captain's name? Uh, Sarah. Captain Sarah Lance. I do what hope this works. What show are we going on next? I shall be glad to be rid of you. Actually, John. We really need you to come with us. Amusing joke, my lady, but I will never desert my post. I try to stop her. Mr. Constantine, I have made the most wonderful decision. I'm moving to London. Well, what about High Castle and your mother? I am a diva. My bad. To everyone that wants to leave, link up. Where are we going? Lady Astra, I beg you, please step away. To live a life that I love, I must know the world outside these walls. Lady Astra, I must insist. Where'd they go? She said Captain Lance? From Star Trek? No. We have to get into Clotho Productions right. and find out what's going on. Interesting uh, set of shows that we're going for here. Officer Mala, report. It's a Gromulan warship, Captain. Hail them, Officer Mala. Or wouldn't it be more logical to attack the warship before it attacks us? By that logic, we would attack every ship we encountered. Is there something wrong with that? Fine, Officer Mala. Hail the Gromulans. Can we kill them now? Space, the fatal frontier. These are the adventures of the USS Fate Rider. Its mission to seek out rebellious life forms and disobedient civilizations and blow them up with lasers. <laughs> Captains, toy? we've caught the <laughs> Grumlins with their pants down. Charge the cannons. Let's give them hell. Engage the translator, Officer Mala. I would like to talk to them. Two captains is an exciting power dynamic. Charging cannons and engaging the translator. Oh, I guess they get to okay, be captains. Sorry, do you guys not understand me? We understand you. We come in peace. Yeah, now prepare to die. Wait, hold on. Don't shoot. Listen, none of this is real. This is a fake reality. It's true. We're all on television. Watch, I can press this uh, plasma cannon button and nothing's gonna happen. No, 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 they, no. On the other hand, why not? <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing happening. Oh, God. Who knew? That was bad. Can't even look. Well, I mean, it's an absolutely remarkable vessel, really, isn't it? Mm. Officer Mala! The crew has perished. No! There's no need to vocalize at that decibel. They're androids. Oh, right. This battle isn't over yet. So I get who Ava is trying to, is like a parody of, right? Look, I want to say the right name, but I, I, I can see who it is in my head. It's Lennon and Demoy, okay? But I'm afraid I'm going to say that. The wrong name. But anyways, look, it's Leonard Nimoy. Let's go with that. But who is Sarah a parody of? Also, was that just like a parody of like the Khan? Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Star Trek, but I'm getting... I, I'm trying. Ooh, crazy episode. Excuse me, my good sir. My colleague and I are here to refill your mush vending machines. I don't have you on my list. Lalo, is it? You don't want to be known as the guy who lets the building run out of mush, do ya? All right, go in. Fire laser blasters. Permanently disabled. Photon torpedoes. Destroyed. Hey, ladies, uh, permission to rescue you? We could just beam you right over here. It smells like a Gromulan trap. Okay, you're losing oxygen. We're gonna rescue you. We're taking over this ship. Sure, that works. We're, we're your crew, anyways. I, I know it's complicated, <laughs> but we're actually from an alternate timeline where you're our captain. You're our crew. May I interest you in some rare Gromulan tea? 
It is grand to see lady adventurers in pantaloons. What kind of Gromulans are you? Ultimate buds. Okay, yeah, I, I know it's hard to believe, but... No, it makes perfect sense. We encounter this sort of thing all the time. You're probably our crew from an alternate timeline, and you've been trapped in some sort of, judging by your mannerisms, late and early 20th century prison dimension, which calls the question if we ourselves are existing in a prison dimension. It's perfectly logical. Ava, I love you. <laughs> Why did they trap them? They were already Oh my fates! What is it? Ultimate butt swag. We need to figure out our next move. Uh, what we need is to get out of this TV prison dimension. We've been investigating an odd radio wave transmission coming from the planet Caldazax. Oh no, I didn't like this show. Is that a soul? We don't know what to make of it. This sector should be deserted. I'm gonna make contact. With alien beings, are you mad? Absolutely do not make contact. Even I think it's a bad idea. Okay, okay, I won't. Mm, on the other hand... <laughs> <laughs> I was not a fan of this. Welcome to my cul-de-sac, friend. That's a street that ends in a circle. Children, I think the fates have sent us some visitors. I want a Bebo show. Let's be good hosts. Why is there no Bebo show? I'll get the door. Look who it is, everyone. It's the community helpers. We're on Mr. Parker's cul-de-sac. What exactly is the plan, Dr. Zari? I have no idea. Oh, well, we just can't keep hopping shows ad infinitum now, can we? We are on public access. This is a career killer. Yeah, come on, sis. What gives? Look, I don't know. If you guys would just remember who you really are, you could help me figure this out, but none of you remember. Remember what? That you're legends. What is a legend? What is a legend? You guys were heroes. But it's not because you do magic or because you have superpowers. It's what makes you guys special, what makes us special is that we're just a bunch of misfits who are trying to make a difference. That is what we need right now. She's talking about us. We could be those misfits, Gary. But how? I've been sanitizing history for too long. It's time to spread the truth. The legends remember who they truly are. You idiots! Great Clotho, praise the fates! What have you done? We restored their memories. <laughs> Please don't kill us. You're gonna ruin everything. If only we could explain. Oh, no! I can't let the legends escape. We need to go back. Yeah, sure. Love. Why don't you really listen to her, construction worker John? I want to see my mother. Oh, was that her mother that was with her? You think your mother will suddenly have all of her memories? What if Natalie's just a character on a TV show, though? That didn't even occur to me. Wow. I have to know for sure. Repress, repress. I'll go back and repress. It's better to bury my feelings than feel as awful as this. Ignore those pesky feelings are a chore Obey the fates, eat your mush And you'll be happy just like two ladybugs <sighs> Ah, we're back Oh, there you two are oh, Mom Oh, my love What's all this? Do you remember anything? I know that we've seen him before, before I think, Castle but Abbey. I don't remember I... Uh, London? Magic? Dad? What on earth are you talking about? Never mind. I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you too, you goose. Hey, you come upstairs and change for dinner. Astra, listen to me. I know what you're gonna say. She's not real. We can stay. What are you playing at? It's no trick, love. Astra, look at me. What have I got to show for myself? 38 crap years of pain and broken promises. You want to know what my original yeah. sin was? It was you, Astra. I rail against the angels and the demons for being arrogant bastards, but I'm worse than the bloody lot of them. You know, I thought that I could use your innocent soul as a bargaining chip to save your mother. Bollocks. If you're happy here, then I will spend an eternity as Ruddy Mr. Constantine trying to make it up to you and Natalie. Is John Constantine really capable of such a selfless act? Would it be acceptable to dine at half past seven, Lady Astra? Mrs. Hutchins is running a trifle late. Perfectly acceptable. 
Mr. Constantine. Sarah, wait, chick. Let's think about this. Wait, what's there to think about? We have to get back to the real world. Oh, I know, okay, but just... In the real world, I saw you die. It was awful. And I just keep playing it over and over again in my head, okay? Out there, we lost. But in here, we always win, Sarah. You're right. That's, that's why Charlie did all this. A crew that can't die, us beating the bad guys every time. It's what we asked for back there in the pub. But that doesn't exist. Ava, life is beautiful and terrible all at the same time. But if we're only living part of it, then we're not living at all. Let's get the hell out of here. Captains. Oh my god, he looked like I'm he picking was up a strange nervous. transmission. It's from your old enemy, Dawn. Captain Lance. <laughs> I forgot about Mick for a second there. Friends. He looks kind of hot. Oh, Mom. What? I'm not dead. That's gross. Well, that's where we've always been. It was foolish to think you could escape my wrath. Don's charging his torpedoes. Should I raise the shields? You said that we always win, right? What if the only way to get Charlie to set us free is we have to lose? What is she on about? You left me? You left her in the center of a dead planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get to the revenge part. As you wish. Beautiful. Oh. Torpedoes incoming. Should I take evasive maneuvers? Negative, Officer Mala. What if real people die in the TV claw, though? You have to save them. Torpedo impact in five, three, <laughs> two. What just happened? Did they die? What did you do? <laughs> Left in a giant cliffhanger. <laughs> I cancelled this show. Have you any idea what you've done? I love Star Trek and my hair. Wait, where are we? And where are the others? John, you made it. Yeah, just about. What about the others? They're all alive. Come on, Z. You didn't live in a totem for a year just to get stuck on a TV show. I can't go back to eating mush again. Not even blue mush. Yeah, big. Because no one should eat mush. It's horrible. And all the colors are deeply unnatural. Oh, and it has the texture of, hmm, what cement? But Z, the fates said we all have to eat mush. You know what, Nate? Screw the fates. Those imbeciles can't do this. And it's fire and insurrection. We're gonna get this all canceled. For too long, we've let the fates rule our lives. I happen to like mush, but that's not the point. <laughs> Stop being so obedient. Get off your couches and take control of your lives. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Thanks, sir. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. So, hey, it was pretty crazy back there. We were, like, engaged. It's a good thing we're not brainwashed anymore. Oh, great. Out of the TV show. Still in heels. You morons! You just couldn't leave it alone, could you? I gave you everything that you wanted. You stuck us on TV! I brought Sarah and Bethrad back to life. Mick, I made you a criminal again. It's just like you wanted. I even gave Astra a happy childhood for you, Jono. Yeah, bollocks. You just used us to keep people under control. Well, it's better that than you lot dead. I still have your life threads. I can put the shows back on air. I'll, I'll do rewrites. <laughs> Bethrad, you want the old Zari back? I can do that. Look. Yeah, so this is, like, too much power for you. This is why you didn't want to do this. They're right. Is that really you? They're alive. What's happening? Yeah, it's like a Zari clone. I totally get it. Wait, what? Two sisters? Yeah, this is uh, weird. Charlie, you can't bribe us into taking the blue pill. I'm not bribing, I'm begging. My sisters will kill you. That's for sure. Yep, well, we'll take our chances. Lita's out there somewhere. I'm not staying here. Let's get out of here. That's so long, Charlie. Wait, just accept your fates. Don't walk out that door. On the other hand, why not? <laughs> They're free! Then I can't help them anymore. They're the oh. ultimate but Terrazzi's in eight Terrific mates keep watching Because they've got an ultimatum And they'll follow it verbatim They're the ultimate but And they're fated to have some fun Right, right. Your head. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. 
Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, well that was Legends of Tomorrow Season 5 Episode 13, the penultimate episode to the season. Um, that was a lot of fun, it reminded me a lot of you know, the Supernatural episode that was titled uh, Change of Channels. Uh, with a little bit, like, kind of... A little bit of the French mistake mixed in there, I think. Um, and those are some of the best episodes of Supernatural too. So I really enjoyed this. Um, I would have liked to have seen a... Um, instead of the cul-de-sac thing, I would have liked to have seen Bebo. I'm just saying. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.